All right, so in the previous video, we saw what arrow functions are, how they operate. We've seen their syntax, we've seen a few examples, and we've also compared it with a regular JavaScript function. If you've not seen that video, then I highly recommend you go to the previous video and watch it. Uh, in this video, we'll take a look at how JavaScript arrow functions work with ternary operators. So if you don't know what ternary operators are, they're basically if and else blocks, but uh, without writing if and else, you just put a question mark for the condition that's to be executed after f, and you put a colon for the condition that's to be executed after else. Uh, if you want to go deeper into ternary operators, then I recommend you watch a video uh, that I have created. You can go and search my channel for it. Okay, so let's get started. So I'll, uh, I want my JS Fiddle window. So I'll create a variable called age. And I'll have a prompt here called what is your age. So whatever value that, that is entered into this prompt is assigned to age, the age variable. I'm going to put a default value here, which is 18. And I'll define a variable, another variable called welcome. So this won't be a variable for a very long time. So just uh, keep uh, noticing what happens. It's going to be very interesting. So if age is less than 18, then, so after question mark, you write the then uh, condition, right? So I'm going to uh, have an anonymous function here, which will be an arrow function as well at the same time. So it will alert out hello. And else, if age is not less than 18, then I'll have another uh, anonymous function another arrow function again which will alert out greetings right in our case age is not less than 18 because age is exactly equal to 18 so it won't print out hello it will print out greetings now there's something interesting happening happening out here right so if age was less than 18 then this function right this anonymous function will be assigned to welcome because there's an is equal to sign here and if age is not less than 18 then this anonymous function, which alerts out greetings, will be assigned to welcome. So welcome is not a variable. It, it's a function that will be assigned based on this condition, which is age less than 18. So that's quite interesting. You'll see the syntax very often. So that's why I wanted to cover the syntax. And uh, now let's call the function, which is welcome, which uh, is now a function. So whatever the value that function might have, right? Whatever function, if it's this function, this function doesn't matter. We'll have to call it anyways, right? So we're calling the function welcome. And then let's see what happens. So I'm running it, it's showing me 18. What's your age? It's showing me 18 because that's the default value. I say, okay, it says greetings. So if let's try putting a value above more than 18, which is basically okay. So it says greetings again. Now let's try putting a value which is less than 18. Let's say 12, it says hello again. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, and if you like this video, then do subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching.